Hi Matthew and Nicole and anyone else that wants to learn from this video. This is Mitchell and here's the hoop. Mitchell's standing about on this white line. It's probably maybe five feet away from the hoop or so. Uh, six feet, I don't know. First thing he does when he's uh, addressing the hoop for this is what we call form shooting. First thing is feet. Show us how your feet should be, Mitchell. Okay, they should be about shoulder width apart. All right, the right foot if you're right-handed or left foot if you're left-handed uh, should be slightly in front of the other one. Okay, all right. How should your knees be, Mitchell? Bent. Bent. Are you? What about your butt? Down. Butt out. Yep. Okay. Butt should be back. Knees should be bent. Okay, so it's kind of, think of it like a squat. That's kind of what you're doing. It's just the beginning of a squat. You don't want your knees coming out over your toes. All right, they should stay back. All right, so that when you're, you're like you're sitting down on a chair or something. Okay, we have a terrible basketball here. We just found it at the church. Okay, when he catches the ball, he should have his hand, the right hand should be centered basically. Um, and the other hand should be off to the side. His left hand, this one here, is just a guide hand. It doesn't really do too much, although with young kids, they tend to use it until they get strong enough. This is the guide hand. These are the two most important fingers right here. They're the ones, let me have the ball, Mitchell. Show them how you put your hand in the cookie jar when you shoot. Yeah, those are the two fingers that are most important is right here. Okay, so when he does that, those are need to be pointing right at the hoop. He doesn't want to do it to the side. He doesn't want it that way when it finishes, and he doesn't want it the other way when it finishes, because that'll throw off your shot. So it should go straight forward to the hoop. So from behind, Mitchell, go ahead and shoot an imaginary shot. That should go right over the rim, like you're putting your hand in that rim to get a cookie out of the cookie jar, okay? So now we'll do this with a ball. So he catches the ball. Okay, he should already have his knees bent. Okay, he should already have his butt out. Okay, so that makes it uh, athletic and stuff. Then as he gets ready, his arm should be under the ball. Okay, so from the front, his hands up. It should slightly be to the right of his, of his head. Okay, and he actually shoots a little bit lower, so when you shoot him, he actually shoots a probably there. Okay, you'll notice that his elbow should be up underneath the ball. Okay, now raise this up a little bit so I can show him your palm. The palm should not be touching the ball. Okay, so that you can actually see, it's kind of hard to see in this dark picture, but there's a little space for maybe a pinky finger or something right here. Okay, when, put your hand up in that position, holding the ball. Okay, the ball should sit up on this part of the hand, not resting down here, okay? So the ball should sit right here, okay? So Mitchell, show them how that looks and I'll get it from the side, all right? So that's kind of how it looks, but make sure that, Matthew, you can always look at this. Kids always put, they're always wanting to put their whole palm there, but there should be just a little space, okay? Just a little bit of space. But it should be down in all this area here, and all this area, and then these area here. This is the absolutely crucial part of the shot. This, these part here, the ball ought to be in full contact here. Okay, so now Mitchell is ready to shoot. He has his knees bent. Okay, Mitchell. Um, Let's see, go ahead and shoot the ball. Good, so that was just fine. Go ahead and do it again. I'll pass it to you and we'll look at him. Is he ready to catch the ball? His hands should be up where he wants to catch it, okay? Ready to shoot, his knees are bent, his butt is out. He catches it and he shoots, okay? That time his hand went a little bit too, his right, and we'll see that again, okay? Mitchell, make sure your hand goes right over the cookie jar, right over the rim, okay? Pretty good, all right, very good, okay? So this is, this is, a, this is what we call form shooting, 
and it's not far away, and he's, he just over, shoots over, and you'll notice I'm not even showing you whether it goes in, because that's not really what I care about. I'm, I more care about him, uh, his form. Okay, so get ready, hands ready. Okay, so that's what I, I like. Now, he could be dribbling, okay? If you're dribbling first, and, and then he goes to pick the, Mitchell, don't do a free throw, just dribble and then shoot. Okay, so you asked if his shot should start down at his hip. Start the ball down at your hip. You don't have to start like that. I'm just, just down, just you're holding it down there, okay? And then go up and shoot now. So that's, it's still going to wherever his pocket is. Now his pocket, go ahead and start down low and then get ready to shoot. Down, up, ready, stop. Now stop and hold. See, that's his pocket. This is where he wants to shoot. Some kids are gonna be lower, okay, because they're not as strong. Some kids, you know, my shot's right about here, okay? That's just because I'm stronger, okay? So Mitchell's pocket, show him where your pocket is, Mitchell. Your pocket is right about almost perfect, almost exactly head level, okay? Um, if, if he needs to be a little lower, he can be. He can start there. That's fine, too. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as he finishes the same. So now finish. Hold right there. <clears throat> Another thing with shooting any shot, go back and shoot again. We're going to watch his feet. He should land... Now, when he gets stronger, he won't even have to leave the ground for these types of shots. But for right now, he's jumping. So shoot. And he should just step maybe an inch or two forward is where he should land, which is what he did. Okay? So that was really good. Do it again. Again, we look at his elbow. The elbow ought to be under the ball. Okay? Like that. There, go ahead and shoot. Good. Okay? Um, all right. So... Um, so this is a good drill, Matthew, um, that you could do with her. So he takes the ball out in front of him, okay? Then he, without using his left hand, turns the ball to his pocket and shoots. Okay? Go ahead and grab the ball, Mitch. Mitch, your knees already should be bent when you get, there you go. So he turns it and shoots, okay? Grab it again. Okay, so he, you do this over and over. The whole idea is you don't even need your left hand for a good shot, okay? Um, so really that ought to look identical if he uses the hand or not. So let's look at it this way. Do it again, Mitch. He flips it over. There should be space. There should be space between the palm and the hand just a little bit. You, if it's sitting on the palm, it's wrong. Go ahead and roll it over and we'll see if we can show them. So he's got it here, there's space in there. Okay, now roll it over. And it should, see there's still some space in there on his palm, okay? And then shoot. Good. And that's kind of it. Now shoot a regular shot, Mitch. Okay. Good, and that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.